Today we are in New York visiting the Nintendo World Store right in Rockefeller Plaza. Yeah, this has been one of our main destinations every time we're in Manhattan. So always fun to go here. It's always crowded. It, yeah. it seems like you walk in, you think it's okay, and then you just get like overwhelmed with people because they just keep pouring in. It's true. And there's so many things here that I want every single time. And I have to just pare it down to the absolute favorites. Exactly. And then if you stick around till the end, we'll show you what we got from the Nintendo store. And some gameplay too. I wanted this home collection. I really wanted the tea towel, but they are sold out. But lots of cool things in that one. Yeah, lots of apparel, lots of t-shirts for sure. Yeah. And you know, I love that these ones, of course, they say New York on them. And we have been to Nintendo Tokyo. And on those ones, it said Tokyo on yeah. them. Yeah, very different stores, but obviously mm -hmm. it's very recognizable no matter where you go, Nintendo store, so. Yeah, and they have them kind of sectioned off like Luigi section, a Mario section, Princess Peach section. So it's, it's fun to just like find your favorite character and here's your Bowser section. <laughs> and then find your favorite character and you get to just buy gear for it. Mm -hmm. They had a lot more games on display too than I expected. It almost looked like a, a used game store here. Uh, yeah. I don't remember that last time we were here. I feel like last time they only had actual like Nintendo published titles. Yeah. But this time it was like a, just, I don't know, a lot of new games. But even some older games as well were mixed in. And you, I, I'm sure there's shrink wrapped copies in the back but they just had all these copies up front for you to just pick up, take a look at, yeah. you know, and open up. Yeah, that was really cool to see. Yep, lots of great accessories that sometimes I just don't see a lot of these accessories in stores either, so. I got more games, like it's just like <laughs> games on three different shelves and I picked this one up apparently. I have no idea what this is, but. Yeah, that's probably why you picked it up because yeah. it is kind of a unique game. Oh my gosh, so many Amiibos. I haven't even seen Mega Man or any of these Amiibos in so long in stores. It was really great to see so many Amiibos here. Yeah, we haven't even been able to show our Amiibo collection, really. Uh, just the game so far. We have a ton. Big Bowser. Oh my gosh, he is so big. He's great to take a picture with. I love this going down the center of the store. It's so cool. Right now, they're really pushing the Zelda Tears of Kingdom, of the Kingdom. I love this section. That's the World Championship, which, which, you know, they dedicated a lot of space to this. Yes, they did. And it was really cool because you could just pick up and play, and you can play against other people in the store. The it was big great. screen, yeah, we saw people, yeah. This museum is always so fun to look at. It's on the second floor. Glass cabinet just showing all the different consoles that they have put out. The best part about this is like you hear people pointing at stuff and saying, oh, I had that one. I always wanted that one. Like that's so typical when you're in like in a museum area. Yeah, love that. But don't sit or touch Pikachu. And we didn't. We didn't. So we were good. <laughs> oh, all the 3DSs. Oh, that's my favorite. <laughs> the Game Boy. It's probably Boy. me pointing there, yeah. I love oh. the Game Boy, yeah. I love the Game & Watches, too. I want more of the original Game & Watches. They're so cool. Never had the Game Boy Color, but look at all... So many versions. Yes. I want the Micro. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, what is that bling version? It's probably Nintendogs, but I've never seen that before. So wow. many clothes. You know, your favorite here, though, I guess. Pikmin section. I want all the shirts. I want all the plushies. <laughs> I want the tote bag. I literally could just spend all my money here. I mean, um, you even got me to play Pikmin uh, <laughs> on the phone. It's true. Pikmin Go, right? Yeah. yeah. What is this? I've never even seen this before. Gelato. Peak? Peak. Creepy. 
curvy section. Again, could spend so much money. <laughs> I'm sure people do. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's always interesting to go to a store like this because you have kids, you have grown ups that are just, they're all acting like kids. You yeah. know, they're so excited to buy these things. It's the best toy store. These mugs were surprisingly like really good quality. Hey, listen, <laughs> gotta have that. How can I buy these figures? I want those guys. Yeah, we try to figure out if they were for sale. But, no, uh, I don't think they were. I think they are just on display. Oh, it's a Pikmin shirt from the phone game. One little Kurok left, that's it? Oh, lots of really cool Zelda clothes here. And I don't remember seeing those pillows before. Oh, you were eyeing that hoodie. Yeah, that hoodie just looks so cool. It's like gold and the dark green. Yeah. Definitely a good, good looking hoodie. There's like a pattern on the inside too. Which yeah, is awesome. that's like uh, the the mini dungeons that are in the game look like that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, they did a good job with the Zelda clothes. Oh my gosh, but I've never seen this before from Animal Crossing. And they have the postal hat. They've got the roost. Uh, that's so cool. And then we have a plushie of that guy. Yeah, we do. I've never seen this hat before. The little postal like hat. Do you like how I'm like showing every shirt? It's <laughs> like, uh... Yeah, you have to display them like that. <laughs> you got to show how awesome they are. Oh, more plushies. Splatoon. They had a lot more Splatoon stuff this time, too, than last time we were there. Yeah, I think it was a lot more variety this time because mm -hmm. there are a lot of different franchises and yeah. series. What is this cute little Pika? Little Easter Pika. It's like it's so funny when you look at the store walk through here and you might look at it and say that it's random but it's mm -hmm. like that's how you just you look at one wall you turn around yeah. you see something else and <laughs> so everywhere you turn there's random things and true though they have a lot of the eevee in friends here that i sometimes can't find all of these I'm not collecting all of them but we have a few it's like a pokemon hawaiian shirt thing going on So many little plushies. I think these guys, I couldn't tell if they were quite Easter or if they were just like desserts. And the, it's no longer Easter time, so. But they definitely had a lot of them. And even here you can see like they've categorized each section by the different Pokemon types. It just makes it really cool if you're a fan of a very specific Pokemon type or a specific game, how they have it categorized like that. These little guys are cute. And there we go. There's Mario. Let's see what we got. We were actually missing the blue Pikmin. We had pretty much all the other classic guys, but we only had a tiny blue Pikmin and not a full size blue Pikmin. So he needed to come home. This guy's from the latest Pikmin game, Pikmin 4. And so we did not have him. We got the glowing guy from our PlayAsia order, but this guy we did not have yet. Dark Samus had to come home with us. I have not seen this one in stores for ages, if ever. I was so excited to see this one there. 
because it's not an amiibo that we have in our collection. We have all the other Samus's. And of course, we had to get Nintendo World Championships NES edition while we were there. Let's unbox it. Hundred and fifty plus challenges, thirteen NES games. Let's see what's inside. I didn't do a lot of research on this one before buying it. So I know it comes with like a cartridge, but that's about it. And so I'm excited to see what else is in this box. It's pretty heavy. Very cool packaging. I think they did a good job on this one. Oh, these are like a bunch of pens inside for each of the game. Well, not each of them, but for the main one. Very cool. We have a pin board and these will be going up on it. All right, what else? Oh wow, okay, so these are like really nice, glossy, kind of like postcards for the game. Oh, with artwork on the back too. We got Mario Bros. Super Mario Bros. The Legend of Zelda with Link on the back. Metroid. Samus, Donkey Kong, the original, <laughs> with Donkey Kong, Kid Icarus, with Icarus on the back, Super Mario Brothers 2, good old Mario, Excite Bike, we win on the back, Ice Climber, Good old ice climber. Balloon fight. Super Mario Bros. 3. Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link. Super Mario Bros. The Lost Levels. And Kirby's Adventure. <laughs> What's Kirby doing on the back? there. All right, we've got the Switch game. Test your skills against the world. That's intimidating. I'm up for the challenge. Get a chance to practice my old NES skills. Some of these games I didn't play though back then. Obviously I played the Mario Bros. I played Legend of Zelda. I played Metroid. But a lot of the other ones, not as much. I'm really curious about this cartridge. Oh wow, it comes with the sleeve. That is so cool to see a brand new sleeve, not one from the 80s. Beautiful gold cartridge. Oh, yeah, <laughs> we're not going to be able to play this one. It's just going to be on display. I had my hopes up. 
but I knew it probably wasn't gonna happen. Oh, this is cool though. I love all these little emblems on the back. Very cool display item. Definitely will be going on the shelf. Wait, the box is still kind of heavy. Oh, there's, I think there's something else in here. Yeah, there is. Oh, I know what this is. It's like a display for their cartridge. That is so cool. It's an like acrylic display. Okay, well, that makes it even easier to put on our shelves and display it. Oh, I love this. Very thoughtful design on this collector's edition for sure. Let's check out some gameplay. <laughs> 